right, we head from Nashville to Washington now. President Biden back in the Oval Office today, emerging from isolation five days after contracting COVID. His physician giving the official sign off, the president speaking to Americans from the Rose Garden, pushing support for vaccines and other treatments, saying COVID is not gone, but noticeably absent in his remarks today, the economy and inflation concerns that are plaguing so many Americans right now. So joining me now, Kate Martell from our partners at The Hill. Kate, thanks for being with us. So the president, president notably did not take any questions. He did not make any mention of the country's economic crisis. Would you say that was a smart move as far as the optics? Well, as far as the optics go, I can't say that it was exactly a smart move because we know that Americans are so focused on prices that they're looking at going to the grocery store and looking at their gasoline and energy prices. And with the news that we saw from the Federal Reserve raising interest rates, that being said, I'm not particularly surprised that President Biden didn't mention it today. The Biden administration has been plagued by numerous negative headlines over the past few months. And I think they know they're expecting this GDP data coming out tomorrow. They know the news cycle is going to go back to the economy. And I think they're trying to, you know, have a day of some positive headlines and try to tout the fact that, you know, it was a scientific feat that we have these antiviral treatments and these vaccines, you know, that we're able to keep our 79-year-old president with a mild case of COVID. So I think they're just trying to, you know, have a one day where they can tout their positive headlines knowing what's coming tomorrow. All right, so the administration trying to keep those positive headlines today. You know, Kate, as you mentioned, we could learn tomorrow if we are officially in a recession. But there's a new report that suggests the White House is scrambling behind the scenes to try to get ahead of that announcement. What are they doing, you know, and how would they really get in front of something that has been arguably pretty obvious for quite some time at this point? Yeah, it's a good question, Nicole, because, you know, it, they can't get ahead of it. And the fact that we've been knowing this for for months, we've been heading close to a recession for quite some time. And, you know, behind the scenes, we happen to know that White House officials are really trying to combat, you know, these headlines, the fact that we're heading into a recession. They're trying to give a more nuanced view. And, you know, on, in public, they're all over the airwaves trying to explain that there, there are arguments why they don't think we're heading into a recession. And behind the scenes, they're talking to as many reporters as they can and as many economists as they can and trying to spin the news cycle. Um, that being said, we're all aware of, you know, the impending data and it's going to be really hard to kind of come out in front of it when this has been going on for months. I think what the Biden administration can do is just, you know, be uh, as, as honest and upfront as possible. And I think the more that we hear from President Biden, we'll probably be able to help him. But, you know, at the end of the day, this is the, the Biden's responsibility and the, the White House's responsibility to try to, you know, do what they can ahead of these numbers and to try to help the economy in any way they can possible. Yeah, transparency. Uh, certainly always helps. All right, Kate Martell, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.